small businesses are just subject to this. And why? Some entrepreneurs say it's enough to send businesses running from Manitoba, a failing effort by government officials in the province to cut red tape that's tangling the private sector. The Canadian Federation of Independent Business has, for the second straight year, given Manitoba an F for what it sees as a failure to streamline excessive regulations. And Lorne Naedley, a boat importer and seller in St. Andrews, just north of Winnipeg, says he's had enough of the problem. I'm not against rules, I'm not against regulations, none whatsoever. They're in place, but there's a point where maybe there should be some respect for businesses coming into this province. Naedley says a lack of respect for the private sector is what he's experienced while dealing with not only Manitoba government red tape, but what he describes as an outright opposition to business by bureaucrats and politicians. He points out that after he recently won a tax-related case against one of his former contractors in federal court, the Manitoba Labour Board ruled against him on all the same issues in the dispute. He says it's a Manitoba culture that's gone way too far and far too long. They come with a glee when they got you. They, they, they come after you with a vengeance. The National Business Federation's rankings have Manitoba in last place with its two consecutive Fs, tied with Northwest Territories that has scored the same in the past couple of years. Naedley says the province's reputation is scaring away badly needed investment. They, they keep saying that small businesses are the lifeblood of this province, but they used to fly over Saskatchewan on their way to Alberta. They now fly over Manitoba on their way to Saskatchewan. Ross Romanuk, Winnipeg Sun.